I was in a terrible show called 13 Death Street Harlem, which I hated. And then this film came along. A man named Basil Dearden was about to make a film, Poon in London. He said, OK, Earl, it's a quiet night. It's in London Bridge. Let's try the shot, action. I said, yes, yeah, something like that happened. He said, Earl, the camera's right here. So I said, yeah, something like this happened the first time I met Danny. He got in a fight because of me. He said, Errol, you got it. That's it. Oh, that's where the colored boy comes in. If you ask me, they're both in it together. Come on, let's walk up to the observatory. We've just got time. And to play the part that you played, and to be in a relationship with a white British woman, that's a, that was a big deal at the time, wasn't it? Because, I mean, we're talking about the early 50s. To me, it was just a natural thing. I mean, she was a girl, and I was a man, and mm -hmm. so on. But, I, I mean, I did understand, naturally, I'm not stupid. I understood that I'm living in a part of the world where that type of thing, to some degree, is taboo. When you're at the wheel of a ship at night, far at sea, and nothing else to do, you think about a lot of things you don't understand. You wonder why one man's born white. And another isn't. And how about God himself? What color's he? And the stars seem so close, and the world so small in comparison with all the other worlds above you. It doesn't seem to matter so much how you were born. It doesn't matter. It does, you know. And were you ever tempted to go and work as an actor in America at the time? Go to the United States, where the big money was? And well, that's a good question. I, I had no great temptation to go to America. My wife was white, Jewish background, mm -hmm. and in um, America at that time, Hollywood was full of racism, as you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, to some degree it still is, but then far, far worse. I, I remember Sidney Poitier saying that when he first went to Hollywood, the only black person he saw the was a shoeshine boy. That was a remark he made, whether it was true or not, I don't know. But there were no black people in films at that time. Even among the technicians, I don't think you'd have found any black people. It was very, very white. Because nowadays, it's interesting, I've, we've spoken to a lot of black British actors who say that there are oh, no yes. paths for them in this country. They yeah. all want to go to America. Yes, and I don't blame them. If you're an actor, you want to work, you want to, you want to have parts. It's not just the money side of it, it's, you, it's your talent. So you're almost a century old, you've seen everything, right? <laughs> I've seen an awful lot. You've yeah. seen a lot. What surprises you? Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump? <laughs> In a good way or a bad way? Well, reckon that for yourself. He's very boastful, you know what I mean? No sense of dignity. And I, 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 for my part, I think it would be a disaster, not only to the United States, but to the whole world. That's my opinion.